You can earn unlimited money by adding different types of advertising websites. You can add advertising from Google AdSense or any other advertising platform. Users can then upload any type of file. We will be able to generate passive income through unlimited advertising when users share files. We can also make passive income by writing blogs. You can add advertising to different places on the blog. Hi friends, my name is Aria. In this video, I will teach you how to create a file sharing website like Mediafire. If you are a new visitor to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We know that Mediafire is a free file sharing website. The owner of this website earns unlimited passive income through Google AdSense. Yes, we will create a file sharing website like Mediafire today. Now you can see the home page design demo of our file sharing website. You can change this design through the admin panel. Users can easily create an account. This is the profile dashboard of user account. Users can control the shared files through the account. If he wishes, he can delete the necessary files. You can control everything on your website through the admin panel. This is the admin panel design of our website. I will discuss the admin panel with you in detail. Before that you need to install this website hosting panel. To create a professional file sharing website you need to purchase a PHP script from Code Canyon. I will give the discount link of this PHP script in the video description. Once you purchase the PHP script, you will get the unlimited updated version of Lifetime. And yes of course it is possible to create a professional file sharing website through this PHP script. To purchase this PHP script, we first need to open an account in Bato. I have already created account in Bato. So now I will log into the account. Then you have to click on the Add to Cart button. Now click on the Go to Checkout. You have to pay a total of $75.13. You can make payments through either MasterCard or PayPal. If you want to make payment through MasterCard then you have to click on MasterCard. Now here you need to enter the MasterCard information. Then you have to click on the Pay Securely button. If you don't have a MasterCard, then you can pay through PayPal. Click on PayPal to make payment through PayPal. Now click on the Pay Securely with PayPal. Now you can pay easily by logging into PayPal account. Then your PHP script purchase will be completed. Now we will purchase domain hosting to install the PHP script. You can buy domain hosting from Namecheap at a low price. I will give you the discount link of Namecheap website in video description. You will find all kinds of hosting on Namecheap website. In today's video I will show you how to easily buy low-cost shared hosting. Choose how many years you want to purchase hosting. I will basically purchase hosting for one year. Now choose which hosting package you want to purchase. I will now purchase the popular Stellar Plus hosting package. Now search for the domain of your choice. Then click on the connect to hosting. Now we have to click on the add to cart button. Now we need to confirm the order. Then we must open an account named cheap. I have already account open named cheap. So now I will log an account. We have to make a total payment of $41.10. Now we have to pay. We can easily make payment through our MasterCard, for this we have to give MasterCard information here. Then we have to click on the Continue button. Or we can make payment through PayPal. 
We can also make payments through cryptocurrency. This method allows you to purchase low-cost domain hosting. After purchasing the domain hosting we will be given a cPanel. You must log in to your cPanel. I have already logged into my cPanel. Now we will upload the source code. For this we need to click on File Manager. Then you need to upload the source code to the public HTML folder. But I will now upload the source code subdomain folder. Now we will click on the upload icon. Then click on the select file. After purchasing the source code we will be given a zip file. Now we need to extract that zip file. Now we will upload the zip file. Our zip file upload is complete. Now click on the go back. Now we need to extract this zip file. Our zip file extract is complete. Now we will delete the zip file. Now enter your domain in your browser. Now we need to create database. For this we have to go to cPanel again. Now we will click on the MySQL databases. Enter your new database name. Now click on the create database. Enter your database username. Then we need to create a password. I am connect the password to the website. Then we click on the create user button. Now we will connect the database and the user together. Then I will add this information to the database. Now we will click on the continue button. Click on the get started. Now enter your website name. Click on the continue. Now enter your admin information. Now click on the complete installation. Wow, installing our website is complete. Now we change the logo and favicon of the website. For this we have to click on the settings. Then click on the logo and favicon. Now we will upload the logo and favicon. Then I will click on the Save Change button. Now we need to change the information on the website. Enter your website name. Upload storage I am choose local server. Now we will add Google Analytics to our website. Now enter your Google Analytics account name. Enter property name. Now click on the web. Enter your website URL name. Enter stream name. Now click on the create stream. Now we need to copy this code. Then I will add it to the website. Now enter your website home page heading.
Then enter your website home page description. Choose max upload file size. One time uploads. Download waiting time. If we want we can change the color of the website. Then we click on the Save Changes button. The color and home page functionality of our website has changed. Now we will add Social Share icon to our website. Click on the Get Code. Now we need to open an account. For this we have to click on the Dashboard button. Then click on the sign up. Enter your email address. Then enter your secret password. Monthly page views. Now click on the let's get started. Click on the share buttons. Now choose the social share button template for your website. Then we will click on the Continue button. Again click on the Activate tool. Click on the Here. Now click on the WordPress. Then we need to copy the profile ID. Now we will add the code to our website. Click on the Save Changes. While the social share icon has been added to our website. Now we will add comment form on our website. Click on the get URL. Now click on the sign up. Now we need to open an account. Enter your name. Then enter your email. Now enter your password. Now click on the sign up button. Enter your website name. Now select any one category. Now click on the create site. Then you can see some premium packages. We will use the free package. Now click on the here. Now copy this URL. Then paste URL. Click on the save changes. Yes, the comment form on our website is working. Now click on the SEO. Now we will customize our website search engine optimization. This will help us get to the Google search engine. Now click on the API. We will now add Google reCAPTCHA for the security of our website. Enter your website domain name. Now select reCAPTCHA v2. Again enter your website domain name. Now click on the Submit. Copy Site Key. Then paste Site Key. Copy Secret Key. Then paste Secret Key. Now click on Save Changes button. We've successfully added Google reCAPTCHA to our website. Now we will change the best feature icons on the home page of our website. For this we have to click on Home Settings. Now click on the Features. We will now add new features, so I will delete the old features. Now click on the new feature. Now we will upload the feature image. Enter your feature title. Now enter your feature description. Then click the Save Feature button. 
You can upload unlimited features on the website using the same method. I will now add some features to the website. You can see the features have been added to our website. Now we change the hero background image of our website. For this we will click on hero background. We will then upload our favorite hero background images. Now I will click on the save changes button. The hero background image of our website has changed. Now we will change the text of this section. For this we will click on text and button. Now we will change the text on the title and the button. Then click the save changes button. As you can see, the text in this section has changed. We will now create a privacy policy and terms of service page for our website. For this we will click on the pages. Then we need to create a new page. First we will create a contact page. Now click on the add page. Wow you can see that our automatic contact page has been created. Now we will create a privacy policy page. Then we will create a terms of service page. Wow our pages are ready. You can easily change the file extension icon. Now we will learn how to create blog post. First we will create a category for our blog. Now we will write a blog post. Enter your blog title. Then we will upload an image for the blog. We have to select the category. Enter your blog short description. Then we will write content for our blog. Now we will publish our blog. Wow well, you see our blog has been published. Now we will add advertising for our website. For this we have to click on manage ads. You can add HTML ads to any advertising platform. I will now add Google AdSense ads. Be sure to check the ad size before adding any ads. First we will add advertising in the homepage section. Then I will add advertising in the download section. For this I will delete the default demo ads. Now we will add new ads. Now we will click on the Save Changes button. Now we will check that the ads are showing in our download section. For this we will upload any one file. Then I will copy the link. While showing ads in our download section. Now we need to add advertising in the blog section. You can see the ads in our blog section. We can add mobile ads. Showing our mobile ads. Now we will create an account as a user. Now we need to fill in the account information. This is the dashboard in our account. So let's upload a file. Users can now easily download our file. Users must be able to report. We can then view the lists of this report through the admin panel. We will be able to control all the files uploaded by the users through the admin panel.
Users can also easily contact us. Then we can see the user's SMS through admin panel. If I wish, I can add external storage to our website. In this video we have learned how to create a professional file sharing website. By creating this website you can earn unlimited passive income. If you have any questions for us, please comment or contact us by email. If you are a new visitor to our YouTube channel then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.